Hello guys, like I already mentioned, the topic is linear motion. When I explain somewhere, so uh, it's a form two topic as you all know, and uh, uh, the topic is all about the following objectives. Objectives are topic. By the time you are done with this topic, you should know things like distance, displacement, velocity, speed, and acceleration. Any topic kubwa sana kubwa because for those of you who know it's very hard to have an exam that uh, a question on linear motion will miss and uh, in most cases 10 marks so there are several parts which questions are explained and uh, the questions asked are up to 10 marks so first of all it's good that you understand what these terms may be mean or are so there is distance first distance and displacement almost the same thing but it said that <coughs> distance is a scalar quantity while displacement is a, a vector quantity so when you talk of distance distance is just a, a quantity which has got a, a scalar but no direction for example, on this diagram, if you're moving from A to B, when you move from this point going this side, then up to this point B here, you didn't have a specified direction. So you can call that distance. Then, displacement is supposed to be a, a kind of movement which is in a specified direction, and that's why we refer to it as a, a vector. So on the same same diagram, you can see from A, Ukonayo direct distance which leads you to, to point B. So we say A B directly is a displacement, but A then to this point is a uh, distance. Some other thing you have to notice nay distance can never be negative, but displacement can be negative. Okay. When it, the, after understanding what distance and displacement and uh, their difference is uh, then it comes velocity and speed so from what i've written here speed simply means distance per unit time now we talk about speed where distance is involved and the units would be kilometers per hour or meters per second from your previous classes lazima mudifundisho somewhere how to change kilometers per hour into meters per second and vice versa so you should know that uh, there are some parts of this topic when a kuuliza change. So to change kilometers per hour into meters per second, you, multipl you multiply by the, va the value by 1,000 divided by 3,600. And to change meters per second into kilometers per hour, you multiply the value by 3,600 over 1,000. Okay, velocity. As we said, there is not much difference between velocity and uh, speed, just like there is E, because uh, the units are the same. But now, velocity, you only talk about velocity where displacement is involved. And uh, velocity equals to displacement per unit time. The units will be the same, kilometers per hour or meters per second. So the difference between these two, to Kianza Tuna, for speed, it's distance over time. But for velocity, it's displacement over time. So note the difference. When it's velocity, displacement involved. When it's speed, distance involved. Acceleration. Acceleration simply means change in velocity. So there should be velocity first for you to have acceleration. And anything change, when something is changing, to get that thing, you have to subtract some, few thi some two things. So... To get acceleration, it's a final velocity minus initial velocity over time. The units will be meters per second squared. So now, once you understand, at least briefly, what these values are, uh, or what they might mean, more of it is done to be explained with to when you are doing questions. So now there is any objectives to nimesema things that you first of all need to understand. Okay, so number two thing objective in a five Later on we are supposed to solve 
problems involving relative speed. Maybe this is what we'll start with. Starting from today, kidogo tutaanza ku explain questions kidogo relating to relative speed in our introduction. So this is a very important part. This is a part where I already said that you can get questions that are up to 10 marks. Then the other objective will be in the topic you'll have to learn how to find to interpret distance time graphs and use them in questions and there is also velocity time graph this part here velocity time graph a very special part another part which always uh, will have maybe most likely to one questions that also will be up to 10 marks so once to my summary topic lazima to go to my is to vizuri all of them as they are there plus some other few things that might not involve uh, directly what I've explained, especially when it comes to one of the topic is all about most 90% of the topic is about relative speed, maybe velocity time graphs. But there are some other things I'll have to explain later on as the topic goes. So, in this topic, though, to solve so many things, it's just good that we're aware of uh, this formula here yeah, speed equals to distance over time, and the other two versions speed equals to distance over time you can also say distance equals to speed times time you can also say time equals to distance over speed know these three come on guys so like i've said we want to start with the the first part of this nata can you explain some few things on relative speed and uh, when you say relative relative simply means you're comparing more than maybe two things three four just say comparing when you're comparing things that's relative relative is a very common term used in several ways different subjects you know it well so relative speed it means i'm comparing the speeds of say two bodies and that's why relative speed so to start with tanzana um, this illustration here to explain the first early parts of uh, relative speed uh, in answer na um, some basic questions then the questions keep on changing so nataka nijaribu ni explain from uh, basic question that i have as such now in relative speed there are two different ways there is what you call approaching bodies and there is number two bodies moving in the same direction later on so leo tunaanza na approaching bodies so approaching bodies are two bodies which tend to move in opposite direction so that they meet at a given point. Okay, on my sketch here, I've shown a line which is supposed to represent some distance which is 210 kilometers between two points A and B. Now, uh, from these two points, we have something moving from A towards B at a speed of 40 kilometers per hour. And uh, it began its journey at 8 a.m. Another one from B to A at a speed of 30 kilometers per hour began its journey at the same same time. So notice that the two bodies, we have their speeds and we have the distance between them just before they start moving. So the question is, there are some questions that you need to solve from this, which involves approaching bodies. And the questions are normally, normally what occurs is to come up, uh, at what time, if they were moving, at what time did they meet? Maybe how far from one of the points did they meet? Those are the common questions that you always find. But to solve those questions, there are a few things that first we need to learn uh, or know from this. So there is... I use these questions to explain those things. So A, question in SMA, find the relative speed. If you want to get relative speed in a manisha, you are relating the speeds. Now relative speed, speed is, remember, a distance covered in one hour. So when you talk about relative speed in a manisha, the total distance between the two bodies covered in one hour. So when this body is moving towards this direction, in one hour, it will have covered 40 kilometers. In this, this body here, moving towards this direction in one hour, it will have covered 
30 kilometers. So both of them combined, total distance covered is supposed to give us the relative speed. That distance covered between them in a period of one hour is what we're calling relative speed. Okay, so now that is for approaching bodies in this case. So first question is find the relative speed of these two bodies. So the point is when two bodies are moving in the same direction, to find the relative speed, you add their respective speeds. So this was 40, this was 30. So you'd say 40 plus 30, which is, it gives you 70 kilometers per hour. So for two bodies moving in the same direction, to find relative speed, simply add their respective speeds. So if you're doing a question, I want to put this a question for exam like as in find the relative speed of two bodies upon her. It is something that you will need later on in the questions that will follow. Haya, question B. So to my relative speed, to my anytime we talk about bodies moving in the same in the opposite direction, to find relative speed at their respective speeds. So the next one, calculate the time taken for the two bodies to meet time taken for the two bodies to meet time like i already said before we do some three formulas time is always distance over speed but in this case come on a compare v2 on a same time equals to relative distance over relative speed in the first case nisha wangelele the meaning of relative speed now in the angle relative distance. I'll say what relative distance is. Relative distance is the distance between two bodies before both of them start moving. So so nona, zota zitoka at uh, eight at eight. So it means they both began moving at eight a.m. So that distance between them before they begin moving is what you call the relative distance. So in this case. Our relative distance will be that distance between them, which is 210. I love relative speed. We already got it here, which is 70. So when you divide this, you'll get time taken for these two bodies, he, nai, when approaching each other to meet. So it will take them three hours to meet. So the time taken for the two bodies to meet is three hours. In case the question asked, at what time? Did they meet? At what time, the exact time? So, once you get this answer, you go back to the question. Then, check at what time did they start moving? They started moving at 8. So, once you get this question, the time you began your calculation, add 3 hours, which is equal to 11. So, it means the two bodies uh, met at exact time, which was uh, 11 a.m. So you look at this question is the normal time time equals to distance over speed but in this case it's time equals to relative distance over relative speed okay the next next is part c how far from a did the two bodies meet a is here when you say how far in a manisha distance and from those formulas distance always equals to speed times time distance equals to speed times time so you'll go to the question check speed from a it was 40 so it will be 40 kilometers per hour times time taken before the two bodies met was uh, three hours so you'd say times three which is equals to 120 kilometers so now this is just uh like uh a beginning of a long topic with a lot of explanations so you just uh, keep listening you know again if I explain so many things at a go it may bring in confusions because for most students so many channels sana na topic so I'll be posting just few things as I continue so this is the first part I said it's relative speed approaching bodies but uh, starting with the simplest question I'll be changing uh, the questions as far as approaching bodies is concerned until to Marise so that we move to the other things. Thank you.